with Bill here. We're going to be having a great day today. I've got Captain Eric. Good morning. And I've got Shema. Good morning. He's our deckhand today. And I've got Victor. He's going to help me, help me today. We're going to have a great day today. We're going to work our way out to Court Britannia. We're going to be looking for marlin, tuna, dorado, whatever hits the line. Let's go see what we can catch. Come on down, guys. fishing today. It's six o'clock in the morning, so we should be a little bit quiet, but I don't know if we can. But we're going to have a great day today. This is going to be a lot of fun catching marlin, tuna, dorado, uh, sailfish. Uh, there's been a lot of fish out here lately. And I've got a great, 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 great crew here. Who do we got? The Braun Crew! The Braun Crew! So we're going to have a great time, and he's getting married. <laughs> so let's go fishing! <laughs> Selling some baits today for the Dorados. These are called Lisa down here in Mexico, but they're a mullet. And uh, these are used all over the world. I'm going to tie one here or two, and then we're going to have Chema show you how he ties his special ones also. So, let me get started. I like to take the hook and put it right through the mouth and through the gills. Okay? Run it right through the gills. Pull it out, and then we like to pull the hook into the kind of real hard part right there. Pull it back, and then pull it out forward so that I can put the needle through the eye and sew the mouth shut so that it'll stay as a good hard bait once we get it in there. So let me thread the needle and get it sewn. side so we've got it on both sides of the line there do this twice on each side and it's got it all set the other side I like to come through the gills. Cross through the bottom to sew to tie the hook so that it stays in solid. Tie it off. And then this is the little trick that I like to do. You can see how it's sewn up, it's in solid. I like to take and slice the tail right in half. That gives it the extra action and the smell and the flavor to make them want to hit it. Let's see if it works, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to catch some fish. Fishing with Bill. I like to put those baits out there so that 
We've got the two outside top outriggers. They're going to be the farthest ones out, the two outside. Then the two inside ones will be just inside of those. And then as we come into the center line, we're going to have the other line set up in a strategy so that nothing gets hooked up. We've got a fish on, guys. Fish on. Hook up. Who's on first? Sorry, it took so long, you guys. Coming down, really. Okay, hey, hold on. Let's get this different. Let's make this happen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Okay. Oh, we got noodling going on here, huh? Yeah. Holy mackerel. Yeah, yeah just bring Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hold that thing up. Hold that thing up there. That, This fish right here, this fish right here is called a false albacore, bonita, or a chorda. A lot of different names, but it's one of the best bait fish for marlin. But it's also, pound for pound, one of the most fighting fish that you'll ever find in the ocean, guys. Congratulations, brother. MJ, the fisherman. He's hooked good. Stay tuned for part two, the log, Worldwide Fishing with Phil. We're going to use some light tackle to catch a nice Dorado. So, see what happens in our next episode, part two, the log.